Have you ever wanted a water cool your GPU, but you didn't really want to take apart an air cool GPU just to slap a water block on it? Well, there are a couple of options that you may be interested in. Let's check them out. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoy my content, smash that like button, leave a comment below. I wanna know if you guys have ever water cooled a GPU, if you did it yourself or you bought a pre-applied GPU block. For those of you that are new to water cooling and you wanna do your GPU, the traditional way is that you buy something like maybe a Founders Edition GPU, you take out all of the screws of the stock cooler, and then you buy a separate water block, something like an EK water block, you know, GPU block. Let's say if you have a 2080, um, you match it up to that, you slap it on there. Now, this could be a little bit of an intimidating procedure for some. And while it's not too difficult to actually mount a GPU block on the GPU itself, there are a couple of ways that it can go wrong. Um, I mean, you can start to lose little screws everywhere. Um, you can apply sort of the thermal pads incorrectly, giving you poor contact. Certain GPU blocks have been known to be a little more finicky than others. And some people have complained about high thermals or at least higher than they should be in terms of a water block because it was not making proper contact and that's because they incorrectly either used the wrong size screws to put everything back or the thermal pad just wasn't applied correctly. So these are all things that can happen and for a little bit of peace of mind there are a couple of GPU blocks that already come with the water block pre-applied. Now, if you talk to a water cooling purist, he may not really want to go this route. And I know myself for many, many builds, I never went that route and I always did my own water box. I just figured that was the best way to do it, the only way to do it. Um, that way I had more control over, you know, the thermal paste I used and whatever other procedures that I wanted to do. But a while back, I decided to try the MSI Seahawk EK water block. Um, this was a 2080 and it already came with the water block applied to it. Um, I decided to try it. I wanted to see how the thermals were, how the performance was, the aesthetics. I've never tried a pre-applied water block before. Um, so this was my first time trying it. Now, especially this MSI card, first impressions, it felt absolutely epic. Like the build quality is insanely good. The entire water block felt really, really good. Now this water block is gonna be a lot different than one that you can get for like a regular 2080, just because this Seahawk card is in and of itself a pretty massive card. So the whole design is different. You have that MSI Dragon on the front. Um, so right out of the box, I'll be honest, I was really impressed with this water block. It was unlike any other water block I had seen before. Um, and just the size of it was massive. Now, after I finished admiring its build quality, the first thing I try to do is slap it into a case and into a build. The first problem I came up, at least with this graphics card, it's so large that it's not going to fit in your typical case. Some of the regular EK water blocks are going to be a little bit smaller than this one. This just happens to be a very specifically big water block, so that's one caveat that I'll let you guys know. If you have a smaller case, it may not even fit horizontally. You may have to put it vertically because some cases are not going to be wide enough. But there are also other sort of pre-applied water blocks by other companies that are going to be smaller. Um, you could always try, you know, EVGA also makes uh, like the 2080 and 2080 Ti with pre-applied water blocks. Uh, Gigabyte does as well. Um, even AMD, that liquid devil that comes with a pre-applied water block. These are all going to be smaller than this MSI card, which is just ridiculously huge. Um, which is really cool for aesthetics. You just have to be careful what type of build you're putting it in to make sure that it fits. So then I wanted to test the thermals. Now I have other 2080 cards that I have, you know, custom order blocks on. So I had a pretty good basis for comparison. And as soon as I slapped this bad boy in the build, I fired up Heaven Benchmark. I played through a bunch of games and I was pleasantly surprised that the thermal performance was really, really stellar. Um, in fact, it was just as good, if not better, than most of the other water blocks that I had. This makes complete sense because this still is an EK water blocks custom block. It's just sort of pre-applied for you with the factory. Um, and generally, their installation is probably going to be better than most users. So the thermal performance seemed right on par with all my other 2080 blocks. So that's definitely a big sigh of relief because another really nice bonus that I liked about this comes down to the aesthetics in terms of the RGB. This particular MSI card, um, all you have to do is put it in your PCI slot, 
For the RGB effect, you don't even have to plug in a separate cable. If you've worked with other water blocks before, you know that generally you're going to have a separate little cable to plug into your 4-pin or 3-pin RGB header, um, which most of the time it's okay, but it's just really kind of not too practical. I mean, aside from having a cable there, um, you can even damage that cable by pulling it if you're pulling your GPU out and you forget to unplug it. So there's a million little things that can happen. This one has really sick RGB effects and it's all powered by the GPU itself just plugging into the PCIe slot so I really really like that I thought that was a big big bonus so then let's get down to it is it worth it getting a GPU like this well sometimes it really may because first of all you don't have to worry about taking apart an air cool GPU and a lot of times that I found it could be significantly cheaper now if you catch these on a good sale you can basically eliminate the price of the water block like this MSI card was so good that I ended up buying a second one to test out SLI and of course SLI is sort of a dead format but aesthetically it still looks pretty cool I may eventually take one card out and put it in a different build and then of course I don't have the pleasure of putting it together myself but if you're somebody who doesn't want to do that anyway um, this GPU is gonna have a few perks everything sort of in one package especially for this one the RGB cable is non-existent which is really awesome and the cards build quality is just as good as any cards actually it's better than most GPUs that I've seen everything is just built incredibly well and I really do like the design in this card Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. I want to know if you've ever water cooled your own GPU or if you would consider getting a pre-applied water block. And I'll see you guys on the next video.